Hi there, I'm Shama Maher, CEO of Scaling Retail. And today we're gonna to chat a little bit about key categorical drivers in 2021 and beyond. 2020 was pretty unprecedented. I don't think anyone in the entire world could have foreseen just how much time we'd be spending at home. In fact, those of us who are already digital natives were already used to wearing Zoom friendly outfits, but the rest of the world had yet to experience what stay at home orders would really look like and ultimately the future of work and how that would shift entirely. So as we look at consumer shifting behaviors and how they're starting to spend more focus and time and value things like their quiet spaces, their quality of sleep, their health, the ways in which that they're looking at physical health and mental health, we have to ask ourselves, how do these consumer shifts actually shape their buying power? And so today I wanna to unpack a few key categories that are not only seeing a tremendous amount of success as we come out of 2020, but that are definitely going to be strategic game changers as you look at category expansion or even launching a new business into the future. Now, first category is the category of sleep. Sleep has become so much more important now than ever, and brands are cropping up little by little when it comes to owning that space. Whether it's a company like Lunia that really focus on having very technical focused product assortments in terms of their fabrications, or you have other companies out there right now that are focusing on developing more biohacking tools to better understand your sleep, sleep is something that's on top of everyone's mind. Not only because of the health implications, but because guys, when most people today are now stay-at-home mothers and teachers, and they're running their full-time jobs at the same time, you have to ask yourself, how do I actually do everything at once? Sleep becomes a big part of that. So those of you guys who are interested in disrupting the space of sleep, I would take a look at that, not just from a product category in terms of wearing great jammies, though I do have to say, jammies are becoming a really great outdoor product line and that trend started back in 2018 we're going to continue to see a focus on sleep and that transition of sleeping into outerwear and the things that you're going to wear outside now the next product category that's doing quite well is in the realm of the kitchen what do we mean by the kitchen well guys anything that you're going to be using at home to cook to serve food these kinds of products are becoming super super important when we think about things like aprons, when we think about things like creating uh, you know, new things around table linens, home goods products, as we look more and more towards the time together as families or individuals around cooking our own meals, having a sense of elevation around the dinner table becomes increasingly important. So looking into those categories of kitchen, very, very valuable. And in tandem with kitchen, we turn our attention to the bedroom, circling back to the notion of sleep, but putting our attention onto things like home bedding, looking at ways of adding comfort to the room, whether that's through different kinds of lighting systems, different ways of looking at your sleeping robes, everything that has to do with self-care and sleep and the bedroom, I think are going to be something that you're going to really want to keep your eye and attention on. In addition to sleep, and the bedroom, we're also going to be looking at things like what you do in the shower. So self-care when it comes to shower rituals are also increasingly on the rise. The number of self-care boxes that are being sold and people who are looking to pamper themselves and loved ones is also increasingly over time. This past year over the holiday, we saw lots of people turn their gift giving attention to self-care. It's not something that you're going to want to overlook. Now, further focusing in on self-care really opens up the topic of gifting. Gifting is something that we're so used to doing in person. And in 2020, it really asked ourselves, how do we actually bring the gifting experience to the people we want to love and give the most to? Gifting became super top of mind this past holiday season when many people were forced to stay at home and unable to really share gift giving opportunities. So looking at the gifting industry, looking at subscription boxes, looking at ways in which you're able to build in that repeat purchasing, but also that focus on packaging and that in-home unboxing experience makes gifting a very unique category. If you're not gonna be attending someone's party, but you still wanna send them a congratulatory gift, it's not just the item itself that matters anymore. It is the entire gifting experience. So looking into gifting as a key category, I think is going to behoove you in terms of any sort of categorical expansion, adding that extra layer of that unboxing experience to create something that's truly special 
is a must. And now we turn our attention to all of this work from home stuff, right? A lot of brands that traditionally did very well with suiting found themselves at a huge loss last year when people were simply not going into the offices. However, what we did see was a rise in people using things like blazers, dressier tops, um, it's very interesting. I was talking to someone the other day and he was talking about the executive mullet, which I thought was an amazing term. Business up front and maybe sleep in casual on the bottom. This was certainly in 2020, the year of the legging combined with the blazer and the dressier top, which made for a really opportune wardrobe in front of those Zoom phone calls. So in terms of category expansion, really turning your attention to those work from home things and saying, hey, how can my product actually serve this new generation of how people are choosing to do business? And then lastly, guys, talking about leggings would not be complete without turning our attention to athleisure as well as the active wear categories. Increasingly in droves, people went from going to the gym to going outside and taking hikes. Walking became a primary destination for activity this past year. And I do believe we will continue to see the rise of outdoor activities as we start to normalize our day-to-day -day behaviors. The people who found the great nature and outdoors to be so relieving and exciting as I did, will continue to turn to that as a primary way of seeking not only mental health relaxation, but physical health and well-being. So understanding that consumer value really highlights the importance of active wear and athleisure. Now, active wear can really be seen in terms of many different micro segmentations, right? You have those who are very focused on specific sports. Um, I would say you have your, your golfers, you have those who are interested in running and hiking and yoga, lots of different ways to unpack that active market. And then when it comes to athleisure, right, you're looking at those jogger sets, you're looking at the ways in which you're creating French terry or very high quality uh, sweatsuits. That athleisure category is an amazing way of being able to bridge for your customer a way they can feel yummy, they can feel delicious staying at home. And guess what? It's also suitable for going outside. It's suitable for a walk. It's suitable for getting a cup of coffee. And these days, guys, more often than not, people are doing business over Zoom, but in their athleisure. We no longer are keeping to the same high standards as we used to. So taking a look at how we value our time, looking at where the consumer trajectory is going in terms of working from home, these are all very clear indicators of new values and new priorities that are on the consumer's mind for 2021 and beyond. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions about category expansion for your existing business or looking at launching a brand that's really tailored towards consumers' needs for today, send us an email at hello at scalingretail.com. Would love to support you and guide you towards a path of profitability. Talk to you soon. Bye.